Yo, welcome to the New Level Podcast. I'm your host, Askew Fitness, and this podcast was created to help men who are ready to self-improve with women, motivation, accountability, confidence, and consistency. So if you're ready to self-improve, this podcast is for you. Let's get it. Yo, welcome into the New Level Podcast. I'm your host, Askew Fitness, or you can call me Coach J. And this podcast was created to help men who are ready to self-improve with women, motivation, accountability, confidence, and consistency. So if you sound like you're ready to self-improve and you need these type of tips and advice, this podcast is for you. Guys, welcome in to the New Level Podcast. And today's episode is going to be something straight out my heart. As I said on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, I'm on live as I'm talking right now on this podcast. But as I said um, before we went live, guys, this is coming straight out the heart. Like I wasn't even going to talk about this. Um, I had no idea this was going to pop up, but I felt led to like speak about this because this is something that I went through this morning, kind of like a mental block. And so I need to definitely preach on this because we're all about to hit a new year. Okay, we all want to self improve. All right, we all want to become better than the last year. But this this podcast right here is going to help those who are ready to change. All right. So without further ado, if you're watching this on youtube make sure you like comment subscribe if you're listening to this podcast on any podcast platform spotify or apple music make sure you screenshot this episode you tag me in it in your facebook or instagram story so i know you got value from it and if you're watching this on facebook live instagram live or tiktok live y'all drop y'all comments down below because i read all the comments at the end of the podcast i see my boys tapped in glad to see y'all joined in man leave your comments down below if you have any questions or podcast requests but without further ado, man, let's get into today's topic. And th- today's topic is New Year, same you. New Year, same you. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I always hear, and I've been a victim in this as well. I've always heard, oh, New Year, new me. Or I'm going to start this on January 1st. Or I'm going to start this when the New Year comes. Or I got these goals I want to accomplish. All right? And I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't going to tell you what you want to hear. See, most people can't handle what they need to hear. They want to hear what they want to hear. They want to hear, oh, when a new year starts, you start a new, you start a new consistent journey, right? You get your body right, you get your mindset right, you get your bread right, right? Nah, bruh. That's your problem the whole time. The whole year, you waited until the end of the year for you to make that first step. That's where y'all be fucking up at. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not speaking for everybody, because I know not everybody's like this, but this is where this is what held me back. You feel me? This is what held me back in my life as well. Waiting for the perfect moment. It's not even about the end of the year. It's not even about the beginning of the year. It's about you waiting for a perfect moment. It's about you waiting until you feel confident enough to hold yourself accountable, to be consistent, to be committed, to be persistent, to be motivated. You got to wait to the end of the year to be motivated, bro. You got to wait to the end of the technically the end of a time for you to be motivated. You got to have you got to have everybody else. Be motivated with you at the end of the year or the beginning of the year for you to want your goals. You're the only one that wants your goals, bro. That's why you're the only one who puts the work in towards your goals. You feel me? So why wait for the perfect moment, bro? Why wait a week from now or however long New Year's is from now? I don't even know the date, bro. It's December 27th. You got four or five more days, right, left in this year. Why are you waiting to the end of the year to get started, bro? If you really want to get started, you would get your ass started today. Okay, you get your ass started today. Guys, this morning I woke up, I wasn't motivated, okay? And I had to reflect on myself. I had to look back and I was like, yo, what am I doing to make me feel this way? I know I'm human. I know I'm going to have weak moments some points, but I got to realize where it started from. I got to realize why am I feeling this way, okay? And I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all, bro. For this past month, I've been feeling entitled. I've been telling myself I'm an online coach. You know, I built the body that I wanted. You know, I got followers. I got people asking me questions. I feel good about myself, but I'm still a nobody. You got to tell yourself that you don't. Guys, the world doesn't owe you anything. See, that's what this this the whole point of why you're not committed. Why you're not consistent, because you feel like you already you already deserve something. Right. You ain't earned shit, bro. You haven't earned shit, bro. And even if you earn shit, you got to keep that mindset of. I'm still not where I want to be. Even if you are where you want to be, you still got to keep that mindset because that's, what, that's what's going to keep you hungry. And see, that's why so many people wait to the end of the year to get started because they keep that mindset of entitlement. They want to wait for a right moment. And then they got the, the, the little ego going on. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Oh, I'm going through a hard time. That's ego. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. Some of y'all excuses be full of ego. It be full of ego. Oh, it's hard for me right now. Nigga, it's hard for everybody. It's hard for everybody. We all go through different obstacles and we have to be able to push through them. See, you might not go through the same problems as me, but what be, what might be hard for you may not be hard for me. But it's going to be hard in some type of way. 
for each of us. And see, with that type of mindset, guys, you have to realize that there's never going to be a perfect moment. You're never going to feel fully confident in doing something. You're never going to feel completely 110% ready to start. And that's why you need to start today. Because if you're waiting for a perfect day, if you're waiting for the end of the year, if you're waiting for the beginning of the year, you're never going to be committed. You're never going to be committed. We got commitment problems in today's society. You get motivated to start something, and then when you stop being motivated, you want to stop. And that's because you waited for a perfect moment. Or what you thought was a perfect moment. But see, when you realize life is never perfect, and then you motivated, nothing wrong with being motivated, but then you motivated to get something done, and then something imperfect happens in your life, you already adjusted to it. Okay, I already know, life is imperfect. So let me keep on pushing. But for those who are waiting for the right moment, for the perfect moment, for the end of the year, the beginning of the year to get started, you waiting for a perfect moment for you to get that push? That's why you be falling off. See, all year you had 365 days to get started. So what was you waiting for? Were, you were waiting for a perfect moment? Stop waiting for the perfect moment. Stop waiting to feel motivated. Because it's not motivation that's going to get you to where you want to go. It's discipline. It's telling yourself, even though I don't feel good, I'm going to still do it. And that's exactly why I said this podcast is coming out of my heart, bro. Because this morning I woke up, I ain't want to do shit. I ain't lying to y'all. And I'm a driven person. You feel me? I ain't want to do nothing. I wanted to lay in the bed. But then I thought, I'm like, yo, what am I doing to make myself feel like this? It was laying in the bed. It was not listening to a motivational speech. It was not doing my morning affirmations. And I tell y'all, y'all need to have a morning routine. I say this almost every episode. Have a morning routine. I got a morning routine. When I wake up, the first 30 minutes, I'm listening to a motivational speech. You know why? Because my mindset, the first thing that you listen to within your 30 to first 30 to 45 minutes of you waking up, of you being conscious, is what affects your day. See, I wasn't motivated. I didn't feel like being disciplined. I felt like laying in the bed. It's Christmas break. You know what I'm saying? People still off of work. You know what I'm saying? So why can't I relax? Why can't I chill? I'm pretty sure nobody's in the gym. Everybody chilling, still eating their Christmas dinners. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying their family. And that's cool. But it ain't going to be me. And it shouldn't be you either. See, if you're tired of being average and you're waiting for the next year to get started, why not start today? That's the problem. You got to start today. You got to make yourself become committed today. Because for one, it's not a perfect moment in your life. So what are you waiting for to get started, bro? Why are you slacking off? For my guys who already started and you get a little break, why are you slacking off? I'm, talk I'm talking to me as well, guys. I want y'all to know that I'm human. I get these moments too. I get these thoughts too. I get these self-doubts too. But we what we got to start telling ourselves is why. Hold yourself accountable. I'm looking at myself. I'm not happy where I'm at. So I got to get up, bro. I got to do the things I may not want to do. And that's perfectly fine. Because that's going to make me be happier with my life. You waiting for the perfect moment and it's never going to be a perfect moment. And so when you trick yourself into thinking it's a perfect moment at the beginning of the year, New Year's resolutions, and then something crazy happened in the middle of the year, example, COVID, the shutdown, maybe, maybe somebody passed away in your family. You know what I'm saying? You never get back up from them situations because you was always depending on a perfect moment for you to get started. So when something imperfect happens in life, which is going to happen you get knocked off and you can't get back up because all you looked at was for a perfect moment to start your journey, to start your commitment, to start being consistent, to start being motivated for you to get started. And that's the problem. Stop looking for a perfect moment. Stop waiting for the end of the year to get started on something. That makes no sense. You are preparing yourself for failure. You are preparing yourself to get hit hard and not get back up. You feel me? And that's just life. So the next time you realize, hey, I don't feel like doing the work. I don't feel like being committed. I don't feel like doing it today because today isn't going my way. Understand that life is like that, bro. You got to use that to your advantage. And them hard times should be motivators for you. They are preparing you to become the person that you truly want to become. But every time you slack off, every time you inconsistent, every time you fall off from what you know you're supposed to be doing, to get where you want to go, you are hurting yourself. You are softening yourself up. Because ain't nobody going to save you. Especially my guys out here that's listening to this podcast. Ain't nobody going to save you, bro. Ain't nobody going to put in the work for you. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I've talked to some people this year trying to get them started. But I can't make you do shit. I can make as many podcasts as I want to. 
You can watch how, you can watch as many videos as you want to. You can listen to how many episodes, motivational speeches, speakers. You can listen to anything. You can read the whole damn library, bro. You gotta you gotta put in the work, bro. You have to put in the work. You gotta stay committed. Stop waiting for a perfect moment. And start getting to work, bro. Take one day at a time. Stop trying to look at one whole year as your year. It's not your year. It's your day. What you finna do today? Everybody want to talk about what they finna do next year. Oh, 2022. Now we about to start seeing these posts. New year, new me. It's not about to be a new you. You know why? Because you don't even want to change today. What the hell make you think that you're going to change in, in a week? You don't even want to get started today. Get started today. Do something new today. Commit to it today. So then when you hit the new year, your mind is already prepared. I'm not waiting for the perfect moment. I'm going to make the moment. And life ain't perfect, bro. That's all I got to say in today's podcast. I told y'all it was coming from the heart. It might have sound like it was a little bit everywhere, but, you know, I had to preach on it because this is what I felt that I needed to speak on today because it's damn near New Year's. And I know we finna have a lot of people with New Year's resolutions. It should be <laughs> a new it should be a new day resolution. You know what I'm saying? Become one percent better each and every single day. That should be your damn solution. What are you feeling today? What problems do you have today? How can you push yourself more today? That's all you got to do. One day at a time. You ain't got to do it forever. You just got to do it today. That's the mindset you got to have. All right. That's all I'm going to say in today's podcast. If you're listening to this on or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this podcast on any podcast platform, Apple Music or Spotify, make sure that you screenshot this episode. You tag me in in your Facebook or Instagram story. So I know you got value from it. All right. And you know what we do. We keep grinding. We keep getting 1% better each and every single day. I'm out.